Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is specific heat capacity. We have studied about specific heat capacity in your lower classes also, but here we need to discuss this in detail since we have to use this in numericals as well. So what is specific heat capacity? We know that if we want to raise the temperature of a body by a unit degree, right? It depends on the material whose temperature we are raising. right and how much amount of heat is required depends on the mass of that object which is whose temperature we have to increase so what is specific heat capacity it is the heat required to raise the temperature raise the temperature of unit mass of an object by unit degree now this can be seen in other way also so if heat is required to raise the temperature of body that means if we want to decrease the temperature of a body by unit degree then heat must be rejected right so that will be also numerical value will be same right so that is also called as specific heat capacity this can also be written as or it is the heat rejected by a body to decrease the temperature of unit mass of body by unit degree so we can combine these two and we can write a single definition heat required or rejected by a unit mass of a body body to change its temperature by unit degree right so obviously it may be required or rejected if i want to increase the temperature by unit degree then the heat will be required if i want to decrease the temperature by unit degree then heat will be rejected right so this is the specific heat capacity you can use either any of the definitions this is the one which you have studied in your lower classes so this specific heat heat capacity is represented by small s in your ncert so we can write this is the this is the formula so you have studied in lower classes delta q is equal to m s delta t so this is the same formula right then we have another definition molar specific heat capacity yeah molar or molar specific heat molar specific heat so i'm not writing all the three definitions i'm writing just one definition you can frame the other ones yourself it is the amount of heat
required to raise the temperature of unit mole of a substance by unit degree so here instead of mass we have taken moles right so this is represented by c in ncrt and this can be written as c is equal to delta q upon n delta t or delta q is equal to n c delta t then we have another concept that is heat capacity heat capacity now for understanding heat capacity let's say take an example so if we have a a big cylinder and a small cylinder then in order to increase <coughs> the temperature of these two by unit degree here also delta t is equal to 1 in which case more heat will be required i hope you know the answer that in the case of big cylinder more heat will be required in case of small cylinder less heat will be required and here less heat is required right so that means we can say to understand this we can say that heat capacity of this big cylinder is more as compared to the small one so we can say that it can carry more heat yeah it requires more heat for unit degree rise in temperature so you can say that this has more heat carrying capacity so here mass is not mentioned the point is that how much heat is required for a given body to raise its temperature by unit degree so what is this what is heat capacity heat capacity is the required to raise the temperature of a body of any mass any material by unit degree right so this heat capacity is denoted by capital s in ncrt so this is represented by capital s so the formula is small m into specific heat so if i know the value of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass by unit degree then i can get the total heat required for this mass of body 
to raise its temperature by unit degree by multiplying it by m simple unitary method nothing else so this is your heat capacity then we have to discuss one more concept that is water equivalent water equivalent is represented by small w what is water equivalent to understand this we'll have to write a few things in short suppose you want to know that amount of water which when given the same heat undergoes the same rise in temperature so that amount of water which when given the same amount of heat undergoes the same rise in temperature as that of the given body or the substance right so that amount of water is called as water equivalent of the water equivalent of that particular substance so you can write this is for learning water equivalent of a substance is that amount of water water which when given same amount of heat undergoes same rise in temperature as that of the given substance so for example first of all we'll write the si unit so si unit of water equivalent is kg because this is that amount of water so this is in kg now to understand this we can say suppose we have a copper block right and i want to raise its temperature by 2 degree celsius by supplying heat of suppose 5 kilo calorie right so if i am giving the same amount of heat to raise the temperature by 2 degree centigrade there will be a particular amount of water right suppose i am taking one glass of water for one glass of water this heat may be very large amount so it will exceed this required temperature difference and in case i am taking one tank full of water then in that case maybe there is no rise of 2 degree the temperature rise may be less so that amount of water is a particular value so that when we apply the same amount of heat under it undergoes the same rise in temperature so that's why this particular amount of water is called as water equivalent of that substance right so what will be the formula 
mass into specific heat. So, this is the formula for the water equivalent. It will be more clear when we will use it in the numericals. Right. So, this was all about the basic concepts which are required for the numericals regarding specific heat. That's all for now. Have a nice day.